Well, hello, hello. Let me um turn that off because uh yeah, it's it's broken just a little bit. Um I will have to figure out why it's broken. I can try to lean to the side, although it's a little tough with the VTuber to be like, uh, we're over here now. We're just hanging out. <laughs> You're everywhere, exactly. Give me just a second here in studio mode to uh hide that away and um I will work on that next week <laughs> i'm like when will i work on this when will i have time to work on this that one yeah okay so hello 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 i hope you're having a wonderful a wonderful night um it's friday right i think it's friday it feels like a friday um you saw you broke it no not at all uh Absolutely not. Um, Annie! Annie, 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 thank you! You're seeing some other secrets that I have in there. Um, those aren't supposed to be seen yet, but uh, stuff that I'm working on behind the scenes as well. Um, hello, thank you. 29 months of hanging out and well, even longer than that, because you were hanging out long before <laughs> there was the ability to subscribe on this channel. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week start to your weekend, that the holidays are off to a good start. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I thought this was the right energy for the holidays. So we've got it here. We've got it on our BRB and our starting soon screens and stuff like that. Um, your weekend starts tomorrow. That's fair. Yeah, most people's do. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people are out for like a two week break over the holidays now, which is amazing, but also baffling. Um, you're working tomorrow morning. Oh, OK. Trying to make a bit more money. OK. Well, that works. I uh, I have my start date. Um, assuming that everything else can get... Oh, you're open the whole time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I went to a coffee place the other day and they were like, here's our hours for Christmas Day. And it, there's part of me that's like, oh my God, that's terrible. And there's part of me that goes, everybody is in their car on the road. And those people being there in the booth and available to hand out a cup of coffee, like make a huge world of difference. So I appreciate it. Uh, as much as I also am like, give them a break, please. Um, yes, start dates. So, uh, as long as everything stays on track, I start back to work on January 3rd, which is like middle of the week, I think. Um, hello, Chai. The early crew is broken. Um, if you'd all like, I will be happy to redeem your one points. Um, it was working the other day. I don't know what broke it, but it's broken right now. Um, so I will be debugging that uh, sometime in the next week or so. Uh, I've got cords tangled here. There we go. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a great, uh, well, great Friday night, Saturday night for those of you on the other side of the international dateline. And I know other friends are streaming as well. So I feel bummed that the early crew is broken because the person who normally would have gotten first just got fourth. Um, just for the record, it starts with an F. <laughs> Kia Ora Samsara. I know you were also streaming. So get back to your stream. Go have fun. Um, I like that you showed up right as I said that you weren't here to get first. Um, you would have unfortunately gotten second, Amy. Lydia actually was first in today. But I appreciate you all being here at the start here. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time chatting today. I think we're going to dive right into the game. Um, because... I don't want to go super, super late tonight uh, because I still need to get the cameras and everything moved into the kitchen once I shut off this computer. Um, 
So my last little bit of setup I have to do after stream. And I'm not so bad, so worried about, uh, there's a few things left I need to do in the kitchen. Like I want to mop the floor, but that and wiping down the counters, I was like, I still have to run a bunch of stuff in and out of the room and the cats are going to walk across the counters tonight. So I'm going to do the counters, uh, in the morning anyways. So that's my plan is to just, uh, get everything technology wise into place. Um, I think I'm going to take another cabinet door off. So I have to run out to my car and bring my toolbox in, which is fine. Cause I need it inside for the bike anyways. So all of that's there. Um, my outfit for the stream on the 26th came in, but the apron I was going to wear tomorrow got delayed somewhere between Colorado and here. So it may not make it in time, but not that we don't have other options. Um, you just want to pop in quickly to say hi before cozying up again. You don't feel in a great mental state for DBT. So you want to take that self care. Chai, not at all. No, not at all. Um, you take care of yourself. That is much more important. Take a road trip to Colorado. I do not have time for that. <laughs> uh, not even a little bit. Um, it may still show up. Uh, the Postal Service says it'll be here tomorrow by 9 p.m., which would be too late. But if it shows up, it shows up. Uh, but they also said that a tree that I sent to somebody else wasn't going to show up until the 27th. And it showed up this morning at like 6 a.m. So I know that they're doing different things with their hours and deliveries and all of that. So it may still show up. We'll see. Um, but yeah, things are falling into place for the stream on the 26th. And that's the one I am more worried about. Uh, if a kitchen stream is scuffed, so be it. We will still make the best of it. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. I just have to move. Um, there's one camera that's active in OBS right now. So... I need that one to transfer over with me um, and be in the in the kitchen. And then I also have uh, my two C920s that are going to be aimed down at the ingredients. Uh, so it'll be a three camera stream tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, so it's my my steps are stream tonight shut this computer down or at least mostly down i might might i am probably going to put on uh put on a a movie so if you're in the discord later uh there will probably be holiday movies as i'm setting up the rest of the stuff in the kitchen um just that i have something up in the background uh while i'm getting everything ready to go and then uh also because movies help me to kind of gauge time. So throw on one that, that I've already seen. Um, and I don't think there is one in the holiday section that I have not seen. So should be okay. I wonder if the bot will give us a holiday movie if we randomly pick one right now. It never has. So it'd be a first if it did. Nope, not even close. I'm going to give it three tries. Hmm. I think I'm getting rid of that one, actually. Nope. Three strikes. Okay, well. It was less than 1%, so the Fantastic Four. Okay. <laughs> well, had to try. Just had to see what it would do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I think... I think that's it. So, so yeah, so my plan, like I said, is stream, shut down, pull cameras, set them up in the other room, stream tomorrow. Ms. Sarah X Caliber. Hello. 12 months. Thank you for the resub. I hope you're doing wonderfully. Um, I was just really quickly saying what I'm going to do this weekend, which is just like rip my hair out. Um, but, uh, no, I'm, I'm streaming tonight. We're going to play Detroit Become Human, which is, uh, if you haven't seen it or played it, it's basically about androids that have, are breaking free from their programming and showing signs of sentience. 
and we play as the androids. So it's kind of there there there's part of me that analyzes it as the AI doing things and there's part of me that is if I was in this position so it is this challenge of me as a person I'm applying my thinking and emotions to the to the machine but also acting in its like It's in your top three of all time. Okay. Okay. Well, that is good to know. I know it. it's in Amy's as well. And Amy actually requested it as uh, play this game. So that's what we're doing. Um, and then tomorrow, uh, I'm going to get up early. I'm going to make sure everything's set up. And we're going to do a bike building and baking stream in the kitchen. Um, so I'm actually going to start out by putting together a bike. And then we will be baking up. Uh, three different types of cookies. We're going to do peanut butter blossoms, gingerbread cookies, and sugar cookies. And then a cake that is from a recipe from my great-great-grandmother. Um, and I don't even have all the notes on it, so I'm guessing on a couple of things. And the clue that I have, or the, the note that I have on it, is she cooked it for Hazel's wedding, and everybody loved it. I don't know who Hazel is. I assume it's some some distant family member, but I have no idea. <laughs> Mystery surprise cake. It is a white cake. It's just like the most basic cake as far as it, it can tell, um, including like egg whites instead of egg yolks. So that'll be interesting too, because I've never separated egg whites, but you know, there's never <laughs> any time like uh, when you're live on the internet to learn a new skill. <laughs> So, so that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, so that'll be tomorrow. And then I'm taking off uh, going to my sister-in-law's house for Christmas Eve for dinner. And then I'm going to go to my grandma, my dad's side grandma, um, her house for Christmas dinner. And then as soon as I'm done there, I'm driving home from grandma's house. Basically getting redressed. Might shave and redo my makeup. I have no idea. Depends on how Christmas Day goes. Uh, but get ready and stream. And that's when we'll be doing the um, the Twitch Women's Unity Guild uh, raid train. will be coming in at 1 in the morning on the 26th. So we'll be going live at midnight or before if I can get home earlier. Um, and we'll be playing a game called Watch Over Christmas where Santa gets captured and we're a kid that has to basically help him out. Um, as a believer, it's our job to help him out. And it's kind of like Krampus is trying to keep Santa out of the mix is what it looks like. But it also is kind of like the old King's Quest games, like a 2D point and click puzzles with humor kind of game. And that looks just just right. Uh, so we'll be doing that. We'll put up some puzzles. So if you like to do uh, like regular puzzles, like a box of pieces, um, we'll have links in the chat where people can click in and chat can play along and do some puzzles. And I'm crossing my fingers for some giveaways if I can make it work. I tried to get some today and it was a little cranky with me. So I'm going to try later and we'll see if it works. If not, uh, after the new year, we'll, we have some other good special streams coming up where we'll do some of that stuff too. So, so if we miss out on this one, it'll be all right. Um, so yeah, that's the next few days. Uh, just kind of surviving through it is, is what we're doing. Um, after chatting with friends, I also got my ticket for a show on new year's Eve. So I know what I'm doing for new year's Eve now. Um, it was, it was what I was probably doing anyway, but now I know I'm doing it. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know who all was going to be there and not that I couldn't show up. It's, it's a music industry party. Basically it's, it's open to the public, but most of the people that go are industry folks, band members, um, people that all know each other from working in the scene or being in bands and stuff like that. And what they do have done in the past is like nineties cover songs, but each band that plays 
is made up of different musicians from just Seattle area bands that all get up and play one song and then they'll rotate out a few members and play a different song and rotate out a few members. And it happens like that all night long. So you get to see a whole bunch of different people all up on stage having a good time. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for announcement stuff. So let's go ahead and dive into the game and spend our time over there. And we're going to continue, of course. Yeah, she's been over here having a conversation with herself. Um, I wasn't there to hear what she was saying. Yeah, I suppose I should open up. Should I open up YouTube's? Nah, it's got the chat in here. So if anybody pops into YouTube, just say hi. Uh, I don't have alerts over there, so. All right. Oh, no, I did not mean to hit sideways. Wow. Controllers against me right at the start. So last time we played through. Kara has taken Alice onto the bus, and I think that's where we left off. So everything's still November 5th. to in the last 25 years every time i go to one of these i ask myself what the hell am i doing here i hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there well it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you yeah 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 no one gives a damn about art all they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it it's a Come business. On, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Drew says hello. He also enjoys Detroit Become Human. Nice. Hi, Drew. All right, drink. I'm going to guess that we're going to go towards the kitchen. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. The emotional roller coaster we left on, right? So we took a very difficult path getting Alice out of the house. We almost got caught multiple times. Sorry, I'm turning off my alarms because I took a nap yesterday and I left alarms on for the evening so that I would wake up and I don't want it to keep yelling at me. There we go. All right. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Okay. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Thank you, Amy, for entering the trigger command. Yes, that link uh, is there that will give you a heads up to the concepts that happen in the game to make sure that you're comfortable with this. Um, because there are some uh, moments we've already seen some violence, some drug use, um, Things of that nature so uh, I have not played it so I've only seen glimpses of what could happen and I know that split second decisions can make very different things or have de very different outcomes do you want me to wait for the car or no I'm gonna come with you as what happened last time yeah Wait, what did you say, Carl? I'm sorry, my phone started ringing right when you said that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. 
Is there anything else to interact with? Anything I can take with me? The other doors aren't opening. I can't grab a poker from the fireplace. <laughs> I don't want to take you with me. Can I just talk to you? No. Alright. It's your son, but I'm not taking you in there. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Ooh. I'm sure this goes against some of our default programming to force a human to leave. You should go before things get worse. Starting with reason. All you have to do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend don't yourself? Worry. Go He's ahead, right, though. What for. Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Ooh. Ugh. This is tough. Damn it! Yes, get up. <laughs> I don't want him to fight because the cops are coming and I don't want him to be labeled a deviant, but... Ugh. <laughs> oh, right. That's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm going to destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart and nobody's going to give it. What? Leo. Oh my god. Leo. I didn't want it to go that far. Oh boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Oh, they didn't even wait. Oh, what the hell? What a fucking start. I want to rewind. <laughs> I 
how about just one question? Does Leo die either way? I don't see a rewind button. <laughs> Only continue. The other route, Leo doesn't die. Okay. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Right? Say something, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. All right, Connor, let's see what you can do. I'm sure this guy really, really loves us since we, uh... Oops. Right, the I am alive picture. Just wander around for a while. Oh. Okay, it's not actually letting us look at his arm. Hello, my name is Connor, the way he says it every time. Non-critical damage, level 2, caused by Baseball Bat. Yes. Dried blood, DNA analysis, Ortiz, Carlos. Sample, give or take a little more than 19 days. Burn marks. Oh. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. At least we didn't nom the blood this time. Yes, that's progress. Good job, Cotter. Processing LED. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction. Low. Probability of controller dying. Hi. Model HK400. Housekeeper. Manufacture date 529 2030. 
Okay, so this is an eight-year-old android. Quick find a recharge bay, exactly. The level of stress is 35%. Reach optimal level of stress, okay. Start by talking about your wounds. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? <clears throat> level of stress you? is too low, okay. Show him the photos. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Going up little by little by little. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. There we go, that's better. What? What are they gonna do to me? All you hear outside right now is little kids having so much fun. Definitely renewing your faith in humanity a little bit. Oh, excellent. Uh, let's go with truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Yeah. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Choose approach. Convince it. Understand. I understand how you felt. Mission deviant. <laughs> Mission impossible. Anger, music. Frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Ah. Okay then. Don't talk. What do I care after all? I, mean, I changed I'm my tactic because I saw the stress murder, going down. Right. If Warm. you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're going to shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be safe.
uh, offering? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. What is RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Well, that's a different uh, take on it. Are we Why in the attic? Hide in the attic? Instead of running away. <clears throat> I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Trying to decide what to do here, like... I could ask about the writing. I already know. But I guess Connor doesn't. The trigger. What's like ah, talking about the bat, maybe? I'm gonna go with the writing. Why did you write I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. I had to get the final word. Like it's taking the argument a little far. RA9. Who is RA9? Nothing. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. There's a lot of just like pausing to think about. Is this what I want to do? All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said... Well, then. That's enough. Oh, shit. Hank is ultimate, bro. <laughs> yeah. Software instability. Reaching critical. O'Connor. 
guess what? <clears throat> yeah. In other words, you don't actually need to take me apart and figure out what's wrong with me. It's already in your head. Okay, so the other option, he would have self-destructed. He had variations that would have... Oh, two options that led to a confession. Or a potential confession. One that forked to an entirely different path. I do like how they have these options to go from the path you were on back to the other one, too. And then trying to remember to go back to stories on ones we'd done before. Right. All right. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. We have to go. Bus? Okay. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Somewhere to spend the night. Oh, man. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. I think I've seen. I think I've seen part of this. Open 24-7, can't stay. Comfort but not discreet, we'll need money. Uncomfortable but safe? How do we get in? Very uncomfortable but discreet. Shop is closed. Won't open before morning. Okay, so if we had money, we could stay at the hotel, but it wouldn't be a great choice. We would have to somehow find money and 
obviously through not good or discreet means. There's another shop down that way. Open 24-7. Can't sleep here, but maybe ask for help. Okay. Alright, let's go ask for help. Alice, what are you doing? Um, Alice? someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. And he's already gone. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Yeah, it's a story. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. Ooh. Um. Trying to decide if. Carl would be under the circumstances she might be willing to steal but I don't feel like she is yet and I don't want to shoplift what just unlocked she's stopping to look at cameras yep no we're not going to use Alice either Gunshots outside, too. Oh, it let us see through the eyes of the camera. That was interesting. And I'm guessing it lets us see through this one, too.
Where are the blind spots? Right next to the lime juice. Low on the other side of this shelf. She considers taking a plushie. So they can't see what's there, but of course that's in line of his vision. Oh, damn it. It's like Alice's plushie. <laughs> Amy, you're not helping. <laughs> Just take it! But that's on camera. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it stays on camera. Okay, so our vision doesn't go to the hardware tools. Like the cutters, the duct tape, stuff like that aren't on camera. The chocolate cakes and the lime juice. Just do it and be quiet about it. <laughs> Chocolate cake and lime juice a good Friday. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. They made a lot of noise, that's all. Can I not so, take anything while he's doing what's that? What's a little girl like you doing out so late? It's okay. I don't bite. Cat got your tongue? Well, if you need anything, you just let me know, okay? And watch where you're going. Hmm? It's okay, Alice. We're gonna find some place to sleep tonight. Okay, so apparently I was supposed to find something that I did not. Motel is not an option. Check the house. And the parking lot. Which one was the house? Too risky to go back. Okay. Yeah, did not succeed there. No worries. trying to figure out is which one's the house
Can we get in here somehow? There's nothing more this way. Oh. Okay. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Except that we don't have a wire cutter. So I'm guessing parking lot is our only option. Sleep in abandoned car. That's the one I've seen. I don't remember the outcomes. I do remember some bad things. Find wire cutter is still an option. Nothing in there among the trash cans. Can we still go into the motel? No, it's unavailable, but can we go in? Yeah. No androids allowed. Ugh. And you have We're to pay before in. you can go in the door. We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Wait, it gave us the option to sleep in the motel again? <laughs> Uh, we have to get rid of the uniform. Oh, there's a whole lot of these androids not allowed doors. Sniffle her arm, press it. Us body temperature is cold, like rainy cold due to the weather temperature. Get her to some shelter and some heat so it can keep her warm and cozy. Yeah. Yep. We're just about to do that. Trying to see if we have any op options other than sleeping in the abandoned car. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Can't stay, but at least you can warm up a little bit and find a change of clothes. And luckily, that guy's asleep. Blood eating bees officially extinct. 
For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of the bee populations. Ooh. Of course. Android bees to the rescue. Live concerts to make a comeback. I believe that. That looks empty. It'd be an interesting article to read, I bet. Okay, don't walk into the pole. I don't want to wake this guy up. Program complete. Very close for Alice. Okay. No, I hope he doesn't wake up. What are you doing? You're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. Oh, she has to be the conscience here. <laughs> Damn it, Alice. <laughs> ah, I know you're right. You sniff people's arms to scan their body temperature and everything else. Also sniffed some weapon and every obstacle and others so you will scan something missing or wrong. Yeah. Let, let us help you in the wrong way. Like, I don't want to do it either, but... You're right. We won't do it, okay? And we go out like this outfit, then, yep. Why not just sit down and let her sleep and hang out for a bit? Our only options now are leave, read, or override. But who owns the laundry store place? It's a good question. Um, what I did notice is the laundry place did not have a no androids allowed sign, which so far was just the laundry place and the convenience store. The younger generation watching concerts in VR has become the norm. And who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's a cheap, safe, no-hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. The live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kosuke Music have launched a campaign to bring back old-school concerts with live audiences in front of the performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, NKM spokesperson, explains, The culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past, but we want to bring that back. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul. Surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Wait. Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing for the live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Paz Rudd. 
hype, the applause, the screams. You just don't get that thing sitting on your sofa. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which should be music to fans' ears. Imagine watching a K-pop concert in VR. That would be phenomenal, to be honest. Like, the spectacle of a show like a K-pop type of performance with the music videos and, like, components and, and everything else that they do and the, like... I don't think you guys could hear that. I hit the button to pause the music and it said it played a YouTube video that I had blocked behind the game. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to be back in just a couple of minutes. So we are going to pause right here. Um, there we go. I can actually hit the real pause button. Um... Or if it was good enough, you could walk on the stage during the concert. Yes. Cameras, drones, 3D views. I mean, there's a lot of potential in a true, like, fully VR system. For things like viewing angle. But viewing angle... I'll talk about this after the break. I'll be right back. Two minutes. Meet you back here. <laughs>
Okay, hello, hello, welcome back. Thanks for enduring those ads for anyone that was stuck behind them. Um, we're going to dive right back on in. Oh, I see Christmas card redeems have gone through. Let me make sure they're actually posting correctly. Yay! <laughs> and today... Um, they are actually set, so the only result will be Amy's card. So on the 26th, there will be two other cards, or at least one other card in the mix. Uh, I've only received one of the other pieces of artwork, but tonight is a community night. So yes, it will only come back with the artwork that Amy Ward Art herself uh, created. Thank you so, so much, Amy. Um, and then these are all posting into the Discord. You do not have to join fully um if you're already in the discord of course you can join um you will have to click over to the channel but i do have it open to everyone so if you just click that link click join um you don't have to accept the rules or get any special rules or anything you will see a channel um called holiday cards and if you click over to that one uh you can actually open and download your image right away um we'll be posting a compilation of them all at the end so that will probably be whenever i wake up on tuesday <laughs> since i'm streaming until 3 30 in the morning um it'll be later in the day but uh yeah and amy yours looks so good because it's your art with your character in it too um you sniffle some body parts sorry to say <laughs> It is a very fun combo, yes. It's cool, and now you can post the finale with the graphics added. Yeah! Absolutely. And I know it's going to cut off some people's names, but I was like, I'm going to make it look the best I can, and then we'll just go with it. And if I need to do a little, little Photoshop finagling at the end, so be it. Hello, puppy. Hello. Okay. We're gonna head back to the game. Um, as much as I don't like it, I think we're sleeping in the car. Like we could continue to look for a um, pair of wire cutters to get into the abandoned house, but without being able to go back into the store where we saw the wire cutters, I don't think that's really gonna be an option. No, Amy's, it was absolutely my pleasure, and I love how you did the dress. That you, you put your personal touches into it, and that's the best part. Okay, I did find, I did say we were going to talk really quickly about that article, because I thought it was interesting. The bees one, I mean, we've already been talking about that in, like, our actual lives. Um... So the, the fragility of the bee population at this point and the fact that most of the bees that we're using for pollination are imported and travel across many, many states in order to do their work. And of course, Nika would want to go inside right now. <laughs> She's like, okay, I came in here. Now I need to go back in. Puppy. Stop. She's like, I'm going to bump your arm. Um, so yeah, so that one, it's like, AI bees for pollination is already something that we are considering. So, like, that has a realistic thing happening there. Um, we already make honey from flowers without bees. So, I can see that becoming very, like, factory-driven. Um, make bees less scary, I guess, but, like, I'd rather have the real bees, thanks. Um... But the concert one, and yes, bringing back festivals, especially as somebody who does work behind the scenes and works festivals, they are enriching to the soul in a way that you can't get from technology. And I love live music performances in both parts. Oh, no worries, Zoju. Uh, 
Uh, but like when you put on a set of headphones and you listen to music, it gives one feeling. When you stand in front of a speaker with a proper subwoofer, you're not listening to the music anymore. You feel the music. You're inside of the music. And that's what makes a live experience of music so good. So, so reading something like that where they take it away and, and knowing like when this came out and what was going on in our society and everything, like, yeah, we, we went to virtual shows and it was important as a backfill to not being able to get that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I had McDonald's just before stream, and I just looked down to see Nika with her head in the bag, which I'd crumpled up on the floor. She uncrumpled it, stuffed her head in, and I looked down just in time to see her with, like, the last few fries that were in the bottom of the bag. She found them and had them all hanging out of her mouth, just like, no worries, I got what I wanted. <laughs> Come on. Feeling the music, too? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, puppy. You're kind of in my way. And by kind of, I mean you're really in my way. All right. Oh, don't pick that back up. I was just turning. You think of fries are good? Yeah, but they're cold bottom of the bag fries. I was hoping it would let us wake him up. But nope. The pet that I had? Uh huh. Nika is my dog. She's now looking outside because the door to my backyard's open. All right, Alice, we need to get you clean and or at least dry here. This won't open till morning. What was this down here? Burger zone, which again, no androids allowed. Oh, she wanted to answer that one. She's pretty spoiled. My ex is actually here, so she's going to be taking care of them for a few days. Um, as much as I don't want to, this is the answer. All right, I'm going to pause it real quick so I can let Nika into the house. Yes, unfortunately, sometimes you do. Okay, back to the game. Get 
get inside car or keep looking for wire cutters. I love that Alice is like, no, you can't steal, but she's like, you know, but I might do some breaking and entering. That's fine. It's interesting ethics choices. Oh my gosh. One second, sorry. Sorry, that was my sister-in-law calling me uh, about Christmas Eve dinner. Sniff Carrie hand. She might be curious what's going to happen in this house. No kidding. Okay. Cut this fence with a wire cutter. Well, if we have the wire cutters... Like, I'm not even seeing anything I can interact with. Okay, at least you're staying dry. That's helpful. There's wire cutters. Why can't you look at them? Okay, wire cutters acquired. I'm sure the abandoned house is bad since Alice was like, I don't want to go there. But it feels better than a car. Are you alright? Yep, just yes, a little cut. It's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Find a way in. Okay. Oh, 
no open windows or everything anything like that Was that you running, or is there somebody inside? Okay, that one was just a look. Okay. Is the front door open? No. Take Alice inside. Where did she go? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. She's not gonna hurt you. Little Carrie, girl. you need to do more. Oh. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Yeah, not an entirely abandoned house. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph is in hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Ooh. Oh god, am I actually gonna hit this button? Yeah, I am. Come on, Alice. Why did I choose that? Because a mentally unstable android. Wait, I thought I hit stay. Did I hit leave? Well, it's probably for the best. I was thinking a mentally unstable android would make There's a good bodyguard. Go, Either we sleep in the abandoned car or we spend the night on the street. I guess I did. Whoops. I, I closed my eyes and looked away. <laughs> oh, it pressed itself when I ran out of time. That's what it was. Is there another way in? rather not break the window Yeah, it looks that way. Well, it's not like it's going anywhere anyway. Stand back, Alice. You can use your bare hand to break it, right? You can now sleep in car. Dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? 
I'm sorry, but we are out of options. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Why didn't he ever love me? Oof. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Alice, it wasn't you. Why can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I promise. <sighs> Will we be together forever? Yes, so forever. Note to self if you invent androids, make them able to become shelters. Like they might as well not be human like. They already showed that they can, like, make their skin disappear when they're interacting with other androids. So, why couldn't they just, like, open up and become a tent? All the other paths in the supermarket that we could have taken. Yes, all the things we could have stolen. Robbed the cash register. All of that. They could have... Looks like ultimately would have led the same way. Use Alice's diversion, take too much time. <laughs> Was it Big Max and Big Hero in Big Hero 6, right? Did Big Max become a tent? I know Big Max did a whole bunch of things. Talk to the android trash collector. A different option if we didn't talk to him. Met Ralph. Wow, there would have been a whole additional story if we had continued on and stayed there with Ralph. You need to play a complete opposite of what you would pick. It will stress you out, though. You know yourself. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Annie, if you do, I hope that you either stream it or record it, because... Oh, I would have the hardest time just, like... This is a terrible idea. We're hitting that button. Who is rebooting? Oh shit.
Audio processor. Corrupted audio data. Damaged. It's fun to see some of the chaos options. There's so many options in this scene. And it plays forward to other scenes. Huh? <clears throat> You're on the fence about streaming again, but you would love to have us with you when you play it, though. Well, there's always a Discord. But I know what you mean, too. Ethereum pump regulator. All systems in low power mode. Defective. Oh, they dismantled him. Left and right leg components missing, unable to stand. Optical unit, impaired vision, corrupted mind palace. Just not looking forward to setting everything up totally. You did a good run for your birthday. You had chat choose as much as they could. It ended up quite the good run. And then you went back and played it again. A chaos run trying to choose the worst answers. And went backwards. Bhutan Crusaders! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Never fear, the Crusaders of the Bhutan arrived with seating for all. <laughs> and hey, if somebody gets tired, they can always just lay down and get super, super cozy. Well, hello, hello! Latalis! Hello, how are you? Uh, check out our new friend here, Futon Crusaders. I have not had a chance to see their stream yet, but I see we're playing some Celeste, which I absolutely love. Um, I've been going back trying to do B-sides, Blue Hearts, and uh, getting all the strawberries, but offline, because oh my god, is that stressful. Um, I hope you had a wonderful stream. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for coming over with your community. And the Ace of Hearts has gone off my screen, but I know that for many of you, there's a heart up at the top of chat. So go ahead and click that and give Futon Crusaders a follow. Um, while I don't know them exactly, I do know Latalis. And if Latalis is hanging out there, I'm going to just bet that this is probably going to be a great place that you're all going to enjoy hanging out. So um, seating for all, a luxury that you love. Exactly. They get a thumbs up. Love that. And welcome in, new friend. Well, welcome over here. Um, I'm Violacious. I am a part-time VTuber, part-time flesh tuber. And tonight we're in VTube mode. Tomorrow we're headed to the kitchen. We'll be putting together a bike and doing some holiday baking. And then we'll come, be coming back, not on Christmas, but at midnight, going out of Christmas into the 26th for a little late night uh, shenanigans playing Watch Over Christmas, which is like a King's Quest kind of point-and-click adventure with some uh, humor mixed in, where we have to go save Santa. Um, so that gives you a little taste of the variety that you get around here is you never know what you're going to get, but uh, always a lot of fun. So we appreciate you having, having you here. And if you need to raid and run, go get a snack, refill your water, all that type of stuff that we need to do when we finish stream, please, please feel free to do so. And thank you so much for trusting us with your community. Um, it is usually cozy here. I will say we are playing uh, Detroit Become Human. If you're not familiar with Detroit Become Human, it does have quite a few alarming scenes. So thank you, Amy, for hitting that. Um, so uh, we do have um, the trigger warning here with Does the Dog Die? So you can click over to that and find out what some of the different triggers that might appear in the game are without giving away exact spoilers, um, it can give you a heads up if this is content that you feel comfortable uh, consuming tonight. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get except a great time. Well, thank you, Annie. Um, you all are too kind to me, as always. But um, yeah, 
Well, we're going to dive back into the game. Thank you again for coming over. And like I said, everybody else, make sure you check them out as well. And I'm going to click over and drop a follow for you right now. I'll leave those notifications on and try to catch one of your upcoming streams soon. Thank you again. My night so far has been wonderful. Um, <clears throat> we've been off to a very, very rocky start in Detroit Become Human tonight. Uh, Marcus did not fare well. And now it looks like we're crawling around in a junkyard, pretty much dismantled. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, poor, poor Marcus. Uh, he currently doesn't have legs. So that's kind of a problem. Um but my offline night's been great. Uh, I was getting my kitchen ready. Um, I'm getting ready to move cameras around. So when I finish stream, I'll be moving the rest of the cameras into the kitchen, getting all of that set up. Um, what else? Just mostly kitchen stuff. Wrapped some Christmas presents. Um, and earlier had a quick talk with my sister-in-law because of making plans for Christmas Eve and all the stuff that's happening in the next few days because... Detroit become flesh tuber. Yes, that happens sometimes too. <laughs> A completely different, uh, different version. The Christmas card file still has the name demo in it when you download. Oh my gosh, you are correct. Let me fix that right now because that is on the. Um... Do -do 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 -do. save. I have to do it three times, so bear with me. Sorry for the bonk. One, three. Oh, right. I haven't made two, so it's only one and three. Perfect. Thank you, Amy. That's fixed. So any future Christmas cards will no longer have demo in them. Annie redeemed an Oracle drawing. Oh my gosh. We haven't had one of those in a while. Let me uh, see if I can get the other camera on here. And yes, tonight um, the Christmas cards are all with the artwork of Amy Ward Art. Um, we do have some others that will be available later in the week. Um, when we have the raid train that we'll be doing on the 26th. Um, where are my oral, Oracle decks? <laughs> and Annie, would you like goddesses or fairies? Doug goddesses. Okay, perfect. As we get screams coming in here. <laughs> Been a while since we heard those too. I see that Samsara has managed to paint the roses tonight. It was cut off. I don't know why that happened. I usually doesn't cut off when I switch scenes, so that was kind of weird. I am in studio mode for the moment, so I could check if the camera was on, so that could be part of it too. Screen transition, yeah. The screen transition. <laughs> now the question is, where did I put the book? This is what I get when I've been rearranging my office for the last 
few days here. Okay, I found it. It's luckily still right next to me. <laughs> I'm like, it shouldn't have gone anywhere. Your card borked? Uh-oh. Let me take a look at what happened there. Oh, it sure did. It said it was there. It tried to post it. Oh, because you redeemed it while I was in the process of switching it over. Give me a moment, see if I have it here, and then if needed, I'll open it up so you can hit the button again. It's here. I'll go ahead and upload it. There you go. It was just because we were halfway through changing the file names and stuff. <laughs> the ghost card, right? <laughs> the funny thing is that it actually... Ah, sorry, that is making a bunch of noise. Let me get it moved there out of the way. And we're going to pick a card here for Annie. I'm just going to kind of spread them out a little bit. These ones don't spread as well as some decks of cards, and I don't exactly have a place to spread them all out. Actually, here. Well, Twitch, be kind to me here. Um, Lakshmi is the uh, goddess here. It would be impossible if you, you weren't picking the card. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to do that. Uh, it would be a little bit too much to try and work that all out. Um, be like, oh, number 15 um, would be pretty hard to do on stream, but maybe we'll figure out a way to do that. Uh, it's more just feeling which card feels right for right now. And uh, Lakshmi is the goddess of abundance. Uh, it says, I am the ever flowing outpouring of plenty, the inexhaustible, the never ending. From the fullness of my being, I give richly and opulently, generously and copiously, luxuriously and liberally. I am limitless, for I cannot be contained. I am everywhere and will never cease to be. The worship of Lakshmi began prior to the Aryan inv invasion of India. She is considered the animating force of Shakti or Vishnu, the preserver. Her sacred animal is the cow, symbol of abundance and plenty. She appears here with elephants pouring water, another symbol of her powerful abundance. Although described as floating on the eternal sea of time, resting on lotus, Hindus say that the gods churned the sea of creation from which Lakshmi appeared in all her splendor. The meaning of the card. Lakshmi appears near life to tell you it is time to nurture wholeness by recognizing and living from abundance. It's, is your existence defined and contained by the parameters of scarcity rather than abundance? 
Are your finances based on a poverty consciousness rather than the limitless and plenty? Is your outlook on life one of never having enough rather than having your needs met? Let yourself open to the abundance, the bounty that exists in your world. Lakshmi says that abundance is hard to perceive if lack, poverty, and scarcity dominate your consciousness. The way to wholeness for you lies in opening to the flow of abundance in the universe and recognizing the abundance in your life. When you open to the flow, you become part of it and you draw it to you. When you become aware of the abundance in your life in all its forms, friendship, health, family, love, beauty, talent, humor, etc., you can call in more from a conscious place. So there you go. Look at the abundance you have rather than the areas that lack and summon the abundance that you need to you through that energy. Yeah. Yeah, that deck is a... Uh... A pretty good one for those kind of things. Okay, diving back in to Marcus on the ground. And we're crawling just like that. Oh, because the bot mentioned it here. I'll just type that. Um, we do have consent here for chat actions, and it doesn't mention it there. But there is now a scoop command as well. That apparently I didn't wire up all the way. <laughs> Though we'll crawl. Dang, they really did a number on him. Just, like, all the damage. Why? Is this a usable leg? Right leg component. Compatible. Functional. Remove the broken piece, okay? It's a leg, anyway. Can we look around? No. This one looks broken. Damaged. Incompatible. Does this android next to us have other parts? We're not going to check. Oh, he's still talking. This is another one that feels wrong, but necessary for our survival. Replace legs. Done. Wow, they even... The pump is actually in the shape of a heart. Um, we kind of need more components, don't we? Whoa. 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 
Right. Everything's broken. An unexpected error has occurred? I think it's very much what they expected. Oh! oh. Thank you for using the last of your energy to tell me that message. No, you scared the crap out of me. But you picked off what you think the game wants? No! No, 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 no. Oh, helping hands! Marcus. Oh, you're not the only one wandering around here. Oh my god. I mean, of course, it's no different than a car junkyard, but wow. No, no, you don't need to warn that. Dump scares are meant to be experienced. Optical unit. Functional, but incompatible. That's... A set of legs that are going walking by. Okay. Um... Great. What you call noodles gift your loved ones? a good question. Like that scene in the Labyrinth movie with all the helping heads. Thank you, Lydia! I was wondering if anybody would catch that. Oh! It doesn't help that I can't scan, I just have to like walk up to different things and hope that I found something helpful. Them legs were made for walking and that's just what they do. Yeah, they're just made for somebody else's walking, that's all. Are you compatible? Functional, incompatible. Looks like optical units that are intact. Or not. I suppose they have to imagine that everybody out here is going through the same thing. Power source? Functional compatible Ethereum pump regulator. Yes, please. Sorry, friend. You're heading to bed. Cat woke you up at 5.30 in the morning. Oh my gosh. Get some good sleep. Thanks so much for hanging out tonight. Tell the whole family a happy holidays for us. Ok, 
Okay, so now our power should at least be filling up again. Oh. That wasn't the one we removed that from. Okay. We still need an optical unit and an audio processor. And now we're, we look like we're a little more stable on our feet. Yeah, we're standing upright, even though we're still going blurry. We look compatible. Audio processor. Status functional. Compatible. Perfect. What is that? Oh, that's the audio processor. Why was it in his hand? Why does this seem like a bad idea? As we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> And we can hear. Okay. Um. Yes, if Fanny knows how to make macaroons. Macaroons never look good to you. No, you've never made them. Apparently it's finicky. It can be finicky. They're really, really good. They're like a light, airy... I want to say they're usually gluten-free cookie. With like a cream filling, but they're like fluffy. It's, um... Oh, what? What would I compare them to? Okay, this is kind of a terrible comparison, but they have a similar texture to, like, the Snackwell's Devil's Food cookies. That sound change was extreme, and yeah, them muting it for a minute before they turned the volume back on as the audio rebooted. That's a good way to make it extra intense. Excuse me, body, do you have an eye? No? I need an eyeball. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna try. We're gonna punch. Oh, we're gonna punch the. Remove the. The pump. Just shut him down. Okay. I know that's hard, but after everything that everybody in here has gone through, I didn't even read what that said. I'm guessing it was not compatible. Here, I'm going to pause it so I can chat for a moment. Um, do, 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 do. You're making carbonara with homemade noodles for Grandma Sunday. The other grandmas are getting cards and jello cake. Mostly because your father likes jello cakes, so if you bring one to those two events, you know at least one person will be jazzed about it. There you go. Uh, you got your father this whiskey that was part of an experiment in the whiskey world. They ship these oak casks around the equator a couple of times through the Mediterranean. Apparently the heat and humidity and drop and rise in temperature draws the whiskey in and out of the barrel, making it very mellow. It goes around the entire planet like four times. Well, I've got you got a heated jacket and you. <laughs> well, that's good. It looks like we've got ads anyway, so it's a good thing that we're already paused. We're still looking for an eye. Um, if I had to realize the ads were there, I may have waited a moment longer before <laughs> focusing to read chat. Um, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just hang out for a minute. Everybody knows what I got for Christmas because... I had to get it for myself, and I got myself a drawing tablet. Oh, and a game that I will probably not get to play for like a whole year. <laughs> Perfect timing. The ads are going. Exactly. Uh, 
Where is my other USB cable? My controller is staying alive, but it is not charging. You should refresh in a minute. Sounds good. Well, the controller will be okay. It'll get by. <sighs> I don't know how the um, latency is. Let's see. Stat scene. How are we doing? 1.9 milliseconds to render. No, network solid. And we all know that, that YouTube, like, it, it falls behind all the time. But it's a little different the way that works. One of the kids outside found an air horn. Oh, no. Faith in humanity that was restored earlier, now gone. <laughs> no, I hope it's not too bad. Refreshed and skipped 40 seconds of the ad timer. Oh, nice. <laughs> <coughs> that works well. Ads are over for you. We've got about five seconds left in theory for the last of the ads. And there we go. They should be over for everyone now. So welcome back everyone that was enduring those ads for us, allowing us to take a quick break. Uh, this one, we didn't step away. We just hung out here. Um, Darren, thank you for sharing the things that you got for folks and what you got for yourself. Um, I was mentioning that uh, what I got, I got for myself because, you know, that's how it works when you're a single adult. Um, so I got myself a Wacom tablet, a uh, Wacom Cintiq uh, 16. And so we've been doing a little bit of some, some sketching attempts on stream, which has been really, really fun. Uh, and then I also got myself a game and I laughed because I probably will not get to play it for at least a year. And... I say that as a joke, but I totally mean it because I picked up a copy of Final Fantasy uh, 16, but I have Final Fantasy so Final Fantasy uh, Crisis Core Reunion that I have not played yet. I have Final Fantasy 7 Remake Intergrade to still play the uh, Yuffie extension DLC for that. Um, and then uh, what was the part two of is it Refresh? I don't remember what the name is it right now, but the second part of Final Fantasy VII Remake is supposed to be coming out in like four months. So that took us like three months to play last year, the first one. So if I just became a Final Fantasy player, I feel like those three games could get me through the entire year. But I also have other games that I want to play. And lots and lots of miniatures to paint. And life. And I have to go back to work. Yuck. <laughs> Streaming doesn't pay my bills yet. Jeez. <laughs> so I will get there eventually. Um, you've literally only played one F, uh, played FFX and FFX 2, but that one is meh. Yeah. Final Fantasy X 2. I. I I want so badly to love that game because of what the potential of it was and that I wanted to have more story from 10 and more time with the characters, but taking those characters and turning it into what they did made it really, really hard. Like Lulu being pregnant, Waka just being there back in town. Titus 
being a prisoner who's maybe in the past but maybe never was from the past and maybe he's like some shadowy figure from some secret organization like what the heck and yuna just giving up everything she was as a summoner like completely giving it up now granted there were no more things to summon so okay but like To go from that to like, no, I'm a pop star kind of thing. It was just like so weird. And then the main mechanic being you have to change clothes and you have to change clothes in every single battle in order to unlock like the higher level spells. It was just like, it got really overwhelming. But FFX, goosebumps from emotion and some tears and you love it dearly. Absolutely. And that's what you get from most of what are considered the core series games. Like... From the beginning, there's there's a lot in the plot there that um, that they work in, and they've done a really good job of it. Uh, I was really really skeptical last year with T Team Ninja and uh, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins because it goes back to the original Final Fantasy story, and it does it in a very different way, but. I had never finished Final Fantasy 1, and last year I did go back and do Final Fantasy 1 before it, and the plot of that is that it's a 2,000-year timeline that resets with chaos involved, stirring the pot each time it resets. So when you destroy them at any point in the future, they're already changing it in the past so that the timeline continues regardless of what you try to do. And because of that idea, it breaks down the whole, like, well, how many final fantasies are there going to be? Like, isn't it already the last one? And it's like, no, because it's the time loop. And it makes it so that you can tie them all together. And that, yeah, it, it hit me in a really good way. Um, you saw something that next year for Christmas we might implement. Sometimes we do a secret Santa, but instead this year we brought nothing. The idea is you buy a present, buy it for yourself, no limit, etc. It's what you want, what you can afford. Then you wrap it up in fancy, fancy, bring it to dinner and open in front of everyone and explain the gift like a show and tell. You get exactly what you want, you can afford, and still get to learn things about each other. Plus the fun of opening a gift. That is an interesting idea. A very interesting idea. Yeah, going from being a human whose sole purpose on this planet is to self-sacrifice for the better good to being a pop star with bouncy boobs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's... It's not right. But the gunner outfit, the gunner outfit was really cute. Although, I did have to wonder, like, why does Yuna, like, have ject symbols on her? Like, Titus's dad, really... <laughs> <laughs> okay, timey whiny stuff always allow for alternate worlds. Yes, absolutely. Okay, speaking of timey whiny stuff, we need to go back to time passing in the game and find us an eye. I don't even know who we've looked at and who we haven't because it's been so blurry. Oh, this looks compatible. It is Blue Iris. Disturbing. Oh! Oh, goody. We got ahead just in time for them to dump a bunch more partials on us. How many have I played? Uh, many of them, but I have not done all of them yet. Uh, one, about 90% of two. Four, when it was on the Super Nintendo as Final Fantasy 2. 
they they kind of messed that up. But uh, so all right, time to climb. Um, so one, two, four, seven. Part of eight. Ten. Ten two. About half of twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen two. Half of lightning returns, which is another extension of thirteen. Um, Fifteen. Only a little bit of type zero. Um, and Final Fantasy VII Remake. I haven't done anything in Crisis Core. I haven't played Tactics. Um, I haven't played Nine at all. But my brother's played it, so I've seen a little bit of it. Jeepers creepers, where'd you get that peeper? Wash it off next time. Hey, you know what? They're a robot. I'm a robot. It's all good. Would I recommend Final Fantasy VII? At this point, it would be the remake? 100% yes. Yes. I, I, I gave a copy to Annie. <laughs> like, I, I think Annie might even be willing to continue the story after playing the remake. It helped for me that I had the nostalgia piece because it made me love it that much more, but it's a new story. So being able to see it that way and that they're putting so much detail into it, it's so good. You got this, Marcus. Hang on, you're almost there. Right? I feel like they would have people or androids or machines or something watching over this. soundtrack just hits and you feel like the visuals here are most important I think it's it's everything like the way they did the visuals we're arming ourselves what are we ripping off oh the sensor I'm guessing graphically uh, I just crawled out of his people's holocaust that's a very good way to put it yeah oh So we're not required to have those pieces. Oh, that's totally like a scene you would see in a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> Be like, hang on. I need a coat like Orin's here. Somebody get me a jug of moonshine. I, I need to go walk for a while. <laughs> and Marcus came back from the dead. coat with like seven belts we are marcus exactly 
So most of that we had to do. We could have climbed the slope at any various state. But there was some other arc that we did not find. And 15 buckles, naturally. Connor. Find Amanda. Are we in VR? What's up with this sidewalk? Find Amanda. I'm guessing that's her over there. Doves. What is this? Okay, whatever it is, you were not supposed to know. Future sidewalks are going to make it easy on the installer. But they won't know if you've cocked up the installation and because they just look that way already. Secrets, right? Try that again. Interesting. You did not notice that there's stone in your playthrough. Can you walk across lily pads? No. That's okay. It's probably a bad idea. There are a lot of different ways to get to this island for just a small island here. You're a robot, not a frog? Well. Hello, are you Amanda? Hello, Amanda. <laughs> that would be a yes. Anna. It's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Ooh. Ah, traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh, unsure because I was coughing. I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Because I missed it. Am I answering about Hank or am I answering about the jerk who I had to intervene against?
the deviant was the first one of who I interrogated. But she's asking me about somebody else and what my opinions of them are. Because I have to work with them. You missed it too? No problem. I can get this in. No worries. Luckily, what you can do is go to the channel, go to the videos. There usually will be one with a question mark, which is the current stream. And you can then click to just a couple of minutes back. And then I can do... Where'd it go? I can go here. Set that to a different screen. That one to be precise. And give you all my system audio as well. Oh, you do have my system audio. Well, fine then. Normally I have it turned off. Lieutenant Anderson. Okay, so I said I was unsure. It is Hank. All right. Now I know what we're doing. We can go back to the game scene and we are good to move forward. And yeah, you got a little bit of a uh, little bit of the infinity mirror version of myself. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him oh. to trust me, it will be helpful. She didn't like that. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Line open. Hello. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Okay, we're granted access and that's to allow us through here. Anything else out here for us to interact with? In the Arctic you might be in shock. Just, just the Russian take it easy. Russian carrier and an American yeah. patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Would you mind getting me some water? Several please? warning shots were exchanged, apparently sure. with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation there that cannot go, go unanswered. Thanks. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military Shouldn't forces to withdraw. Long and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Okay. So, even having androids do everything, countries are still like, but we need to blow each other up.
and just some actual protest footage. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Excellent. Now let me go somewhere completely different. Oh, it's just letting me look at all the different desk desks. It's not like specific to anything. Are my audio alerts missing on this channel? On this scene? <coughs> Not anymore! <coughs> Thank you for the screams! And now the confetti will pop. Three laws of robotic pa parenting. Family life has never been easier. UN warns of World War III. President Warren approval at 33% approval. The three laws of robotic parenting. Family life has never been easier. When CyberLife initially released their child range, the public were skeptical about purchasing a family. Now the collection is one of CyberLife's best sellers. But is this really a surprise? Customizable, removable LED, no hunger, no expensive childcare, no new clothes, and not to mention no smelly diapers. The perfect child is only a click away. All its needs can be suspended at the touch of a button. It's child's play. It's the stress-free solution for career-oriented parents, those struggling to have their own ch children or miss having a youngster at home. With unemployment at 37.3%, $7,500 for a child that avoids the dreaded teenage years and shelling out for college seems like a wise investment, but compared to $350,000 over 17 years, plus it doesn't have to be a lifelong commitment. But sociologist Mary Wallace argues that these androids are leading fewer parents to have children at a time when our birth rates are already far too low, contributing to what she terms the baby doom. Jason Graff, Director of hum Humanization at CyberLife, dismisses these claims as the usual resistance to new ideas, calling these new androids a triumph of humanization design. Found the alerts! Ooh, I'm awake, I swear! <laughs> Ivanov says, Nyet! Russian President responds to Warren's warning. CyberLife's world's first trillion dollar company. Did we get a trillion dollar company? I thought, didn't Apple like just catch that a year or two ago? Global population reaches 10 billion. Following President Warren warns demand that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately. President Ivanov of Russia has issued a response. Ivanov branded Warren's comments as megaphone diplomacy and said U.S. saber rattling is the number one threat to stability in the region. The Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory, and Ivanov said he would remind President Warren that the United States is subject to U.N. conventions like everybody else. The conflict shows no signs of abating. Let me make sure that it goes through. I broke it. <laughs> One second. We're just like fixing all sorts of stuff tonight, but I guess that's good.
Plug is repaired. And... Your card has now been manually uploaded. <laughs> yeah, it's because I removed demo from the file name when I was saving it, but I didn't remove demo from the Discord webhook that was uploading it. <laughs> so, it was like, uh... The file you're asking me for does not exist anymore. This looks like Hank's desk. A couple of boxes of uh, what are clearly not Krispy Kremes. Um, all sorts of files all over the desk. A hot dog wrapper on top of the files. Do you not have a garbage can under your desk? You do. It's like right there in the corner. Look. Hank. Oh, it's on the outside. Like, push that thing in. Oh, this one doesn't have an assigned person to it. Um, you have an evidence bucket of money? Interesting. Yes, it's Lieutenant Anderson. There we go. Is he walking Excuse in now? Me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before <laughs> noon. Thanks. Makes sense. You're up, you're up. Technically, you're distracted as... You try to make sticker sheets. Oh, nice! Explore new office? Okay, never mind. We're not going to sit. Go see the Deviant. Examine his desk. Anti-Android slogans. We don't bleed the same color. How's my driving? Call 1555. I don't care. Detroit basketball cap, okay. Matches from Jimmy's bar. Hairs, canine hairs, St. Bernard dog. Oh, so he's got a dog. Multi department unit. Responsible for the Red Ice Network Dismantle of 2028. Not sure since 19, 2019 owes me 50 bucks. A good cop, real police. This guy's an asshole. Nice girl. Enjoys donuts. <laughs> donuts. Calories 452. Saturated fatty acids 13 grams. Cholesterol 19 milligrams. Carbohydrates 51 grams. Hank's dog was a ch chonky boy. Uh huh. Japanese maple. Or what's left of it. Cold coffee. Traces of caffeine. <laughs> I mean, the color of the coffee in the mug, not the stained looking mug on the side, but the actual coffee looks like it is mostly cream.
Wait, is that a Zoom? <laughs> oh, these are articles about him. More than 50 arrests throughout the country, Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars, the narcotics seized with the street value of 500000 Detective Hank Anderson, a young, hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's history, recent history. Securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force, Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Except that now he is still a lieutenant. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Lieutenant Anderson was a decorated officer. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Enter and listen in or explore the office and try to find the deviant? Hank will tell me what I needed to know. Well, he wasn't too hard to find. You haven't been dismantled yet. Go on and destroy me. Yeah, probably. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Please? I don't want to die. I, I know, and I'm sorry. Quick. Hurry. Oh, he's decided to self-destruct. I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. I'm like, check on Hank because the briefing's over. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. I didn't hear enough of the briefing to know which way to go here, but I'm going to go with understanding. 
I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Try to be positive. Let's look at the bright side. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Listen to me talking about emotion. Your desk is a mess. You need a maid. Or, but Hank, you're my partner. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Like. How did I not unlock an option? Oh, probably because I needed to listen to the briefing. <laughs> well, in any case, shall I organize your desk? I am meticulous and mechanical. Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Oh, it was gonna get my own desk. Great. I'll just be right over here. We didn't even tell him, like, oh, you remember that deviant that we arrested? Yeah, he just self-destructed in the holding cell. <laughs> it's like, never happened. Um, dog, basketball, anti-androids, or Fowler? Who was Fowler? The dog. No. The dog seems very private and, like, the right thing to talk to him about. But he also has not told us that he has a dog. And he has a baseball cap of basketball there. <laughs> You're like, no, doggo. <laughs> I, I have to go basketball. I have to go basketball from the logical perspective of... We only know about the dog because there are hairs on his chair, which came from his jacket. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. When I, you interrupted me and took me away from the game and the drinking. <laughs> you have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Okay, we got our point back. You just love Doggo Who. You're not naming for re a reason. Whoops. Just love how he says it. Sumo. Uh, tell me about Fowler. Or actually, let's do the anti-androids. All the unlocked options A first. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? I think it doesn't. Yeah. There is one. Oh. We didn't get that one unlocked. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? Oh, that was I not something we should have asked. Arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? All right, all right. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay. Detroit Police Department, agency number, date of events, October 4th. 
Case reference, disappearance, victim, Gordon Lopez. Case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. Case open, involving Android, yes. The planet reports that he left his Android at home as usual. When he went to work, when he returned, the Android was never nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. Case reference attack. Charles Bell. Also open. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500 number 2347778281 model android working as a waiter in the Fasconi Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Case reference attack, victim Sarah Cornwall. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700 number 480-913-802 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Literally? Disappearance. Victim, Floyd Mills. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android model W400, number 6417908311. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Okay. Whoa. Two hundred and forty three files. That's First a lot. Dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Any samples yet? Lab report says. He's like, I'm a cop, not a like, tech support technician here. Come on. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. I would have gone with that anyways. <laughs> you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Ouch. Yes. Yeah. an asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. All right, Connor, let's go. Or just stand there. Find magic stone. Apparently there was something else there. Maybe another magic stone. No idea what magic stone did, but we found it. <laughs> we missed some unlocks, so these were locked paths. Well, it's still raining, but it's it's daytime. Okay, cut hair, find new clothes.
Okay, so what my brain just did is my brain just went, we can't walk away and just leave Alice sleeping in the car alone in this scary place that's not right. My second thought was, we are an android and maternal instincts would follow a program. Would I actually stay or would I go to get what I needed? Which which task in my programming would take priority cyber wildlife first android zoo opens life expectancy now 91 0 0.4% of world population holds 94% of global wealth well that hasn't shifted much over the years you did also break your programming that's true CyberLife is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. CyberLife CSR spokeswoman. Oh, I noticed swipe. Thank you. Um... Daniel Carnegie said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has been a is a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but CyberLife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt, an ideal weekend trip for the family. Canada still an Android free zone. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. Oops. With androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on, but for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Let's just drop this electronic book back in the water. Um... Oh, for cutting her hair! Right! <laughs> Not a weapon! I don't like it. Um, let's go with blonde. If you're going to have a cut like that, I think the blonde will look better. What about white? No. Back to blonde it is. gonna do it okay get it now we need a change of clothes Check the neighborhood. Okay. Crowbar. Andy.
What else are we looking? I know we're just looking for clothes right now. Need tool to force the trunk. Hmm. I wonder where we might find one of those. What kind of lining is that? Okay, we've got a leather jacket. That's a different look. Samsara Dusty. Hello. Hello, Raiders. I also like Embedbot's attempt at uh, <laughs> do it using your remote there. You're a raider now, that's right. Let me snooze that button so that we can say, this Ace of Hearts over here is one of our lovely mods. Helps out a lot over here. Also streams and was streaming an adorable game. Um, also looked like it might have had some horror in it. Uh, Iris Fall. But... If you've got a heart up there at the top of chat, do me a favor. Click on it right now. Um, give Samsara a follow. They they stream a little more often now. They were on a little bit of a break. So uh, glad to have them back streaming. I was lurking there before going live. It was very lovely. It was just creepy, not horror. Okay, that's excellent. I looked it up because I was curious about who did the game. And I was curious because... It reminded me of a couple of different games that we've played. Um, one of those was Contrast, the mix of 3D and Shadow uh, for the puzzle. And so I thought that very much in line with Contrast. Um, the other one, I cannot remember the name of, but we played as a little girl who was afraid of the light and her shadow was also going through the levels. So we were kind of playing two different pieces. Definitely Contrast vibes. Yeah, it, it looked so similar that I thought it might be the same developers. Um, it was a different development studio and a different publisher as well. But the publisher that made Contrast made only a few games before being bought by Microsoft. So it may have been something different as well. Um, or they may have overseen a project or something like that. Contrast was really fun. Similar vibe without the domestic anger. Okay, that actually sounds really good then. All right, we forced the trunk. We got clothes. We're not ready to wake up Alice yet, okay. We go back to deal with Ralph now that we're, you know, human-like. Ralph, how you doing over there? Nope, we can just look now. Content warning puppets. That's about all that. And Iris Falls. Okay. Gosh, imagine having a game where you only need one content warning. <laughs> Police patrolling the area. Now she's nervous. Okay. Well, in that case, can we go out this way? Wake Alice up. Okay, that makes sense. Good morning, Alice. Up, 
so gentle. So it wasn't a nightmare. No, I'm sorry. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? It's a great question. That android we saw yesterday. He gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Nope, you're not letting us go that way. Okay. Alice is the bestest. Be gone. Oh. The police are on our trail. So Wait. Here you go. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody. Oh. Saw okay. Well, let me know if they turn anything up. Because we attacked that, that no idea. jerk. They're switching to Connor now. And stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. Yes. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Reach train station before Connor finds you. Danger level momentarily low, but rising. What? Oh my god. I have a feeling this is about to be very, very bad. We've got to pause with a danger level 99% in the screen. Ah! <laughs> we'll be right back!
Okay. We are back. Thank you for enduring the ads. Anyone that was enduring those as we ran across the house and got a snack. I checked on the animals. They're doing great. We're about to unpause it with a 99% danger level. Waiting for the light to change so that we can go across the street. Snacks and snacks in bed. Yes. Both of those sound wonderful. Um, there are no snacks in bed at the moment. I got crackers, so I don't recommend those as a snack in bed anyways. You want to definitely get snacks that don't crumble. Um, okay. Please, officer, just walk on by. Fuck, that's death. Hey, stop! Police! Well. We saw them headed for the train station. <laughs> Oh no, we have to hunt ourselves? Catch Deviant Android. Connor on the mission. Jaywalking. Running. They're not moving away from me. <laughs> Run like Tom Cruise in any of his movies. They're over there. Yep, they are. Oh no. They made it over the fence. Whatever will I do? I'm sorry, I was running. It just I, I had this stutter. Hank's like, no, don't go running across traffic. Oh. We didn't make it to the end of whatever that one had the option to go to. Morning in the parking lot. Okay, so we could have had three different starting points. We did everything we could in the parking lot. We could have also been in the house or the motel. Yeah, you took too long. I wanted to take too long on that one. I was like, Connor, no. Just let her go. It's fine. This time you can let the deviant go. You know. Now, granted, that's because of what we knew, not what Connor knew, but... <laughs> Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active Look for the graffiti. Oh. Okay, right there. They missed it. Is there some change? Sorry, friend, I don't have any. It wasn't personal, I swear. Next graffiti.
there's a town named Ferndale where I near where I grew up and it actually had a different name but some lady was trying to get mail there and the person sending to her was like well what town are you in and she looked outside and she's like I don't know I'm in a dale and it's full of ferns so I guess I'm in Ferndale and so they sent mail to that address and it stuck which is very strange <laughs> It says next graffiti. Oh wait, look around. Hold R two. There we go. There's a symbol here somewhere. That one. Now find this graffiti. Like a dog. Okay. Is that also here? Or can we leave now? The Android boy dance? You mean here for you? God, they're so creepy. Thank you for apologizing. There's our symbol. There's a couple of the symbol here. Oh, okay, I get it. It's trying to have me now do things without it guiding me as much. Next symbol are stars painted on a building. How are they giving me that information through squares and triangles? Um, Looks like it's over here to the right. QR codes. <laughs> Damn it. How do I get to where I can look at that? Oh, just like that. Next up is a robot. No, still don't have a dollar. No change, no dollars. Don't walk. Okay, it's not that way. We have autonomous garbage trucks. 
But then they have an android that assists for getting the garbage can to the truck. Oh, robots! No, you're not down that way either, huh? Across the street? Kind of fence. Where else do I have chain link? Right there, there it is. All right. Okay, on top of the head, in the belly. And on the outside, are you gonna let me Oh. There we go. Okay. Three symbols. Find a way to reach the roof. Oh, we can move this. Okay. Sure. Only from the other side? Of course. How is that any different than climbing on a car? I'd say good. You type just fine. Okay, we can see symbol number two now. Where's number three? Oh, interesting. The faces and the faces. Is that Amanda? Okay, so following all the rules they've given us so far. Would suggest that the other symbol was here. Oh. 
Oh, it's inverted. That was tricky. I was looking at it. I was like, I don't want to make a jump here because it looks like wherever I'm going is a one-way trip. Analyze. Use the right stick to select a route. Those are my two options, huh? Be too unstable. Okay. Compute. Execute. Okay. Now you get Marcus's special ability. Connor reconstructs. Marcus reconstructs. Parkour even. Yeah. Oh, and we've got another right. Sparkle. Looks like it's right up there. Can I see it from here? No. Go ahead and drop. <clears throat> that these buildings are basically creating a fortress where nobody goes because of the deterioration. Oh, that's a young looking one. One. That one we saw in the painting earlier, so it's faded. Three. I'm going to see you or just hover over you? Oh, that one's obvious. Okay. I don't even know what I'm pre-constructing to, but okay. I guess I'm trying to get up there. This is where I was looking before, so let's go this way. Not be solid enough. Oh, there's no option to make any turns on that one at all. Okay. Okay, we can go across. We're up here. Too high. Compute. All right, let's do it. Go, Marcus, go. So if they dismantled him, if they dismantle the deviants and throw them into the, basically the dump, why do they just physically dismantle them? Why not just destroy their brain or remove their brain and put it in a jar? 
or melt it or something like that. It doesn't make sense that they would just toss out the form. This is definitely the right room. Somebody on the ground right there. Others who didn't make it. Oh, it's a big symbol. past that looking back this way maybe through here instead no Parjour sounds more fun. Kind of. Maybe a smoother movements. For graffiti. Oh, I can't look for graffiti now. Symbols found, follow the trail. So when it showed me this picture, it was just saying to be over here. Not that there were more symbols to find. Oh, I can't even turn the camera around. This is weird. Oh, we found Jericho. It's a ship? Did not anticipate that. Reach the boat. Okay. I think we probably don't want to trust this. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, well. And no, thank you. Find another way to the boat. Mm hmm. There's a crane up above us. Or there's a crane down there. Oh, what's that? I feel like these moves would not be moves like an android would make. Like, I wouldn't see Connor making moves like these. He'd be like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna walk around, thanks. Nope, we are going up to the crane. Okay. 
<laughs> no thank you, Embed. Good consent, Embed. <laughs> Good manners, too. Well, it doesn't look as rusty as the one down below, so hopefully this is a good sign. Marcus, you might want to hold on to something. It's starting to creak. We're a little ways up here. Oh, it's water. We're fine. We Marcus, we cool. <laughs> Well, Link, now's your time. <laughs> Did you just belly flop? Marcus. I have to say the motion controls i am not a fan of motion controls like turn them off in every switch game that i use i did enjoy them on the wii the original wii with the enhanced controller i did enjoy but the wii u the switch i'm like i have not liked motion controls i'm really enjoying these motion controls it feels like i'm cranking on the wheel it feels like i'm yanking on things like the motions work <laughs> Explore the boat and... What was that? Find a way to see. Can I turn this on? Oh, it's a flashlight. Paint the board with the line. And this is not painted? Oh no, it's light. Locked. What do we have in here? Oh. Also locked. Bunk rooms or barrack or uh It's a car it's Kara. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Android on the run. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing it pursuing officers. Eyewitness statements are inconclusive and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened. The local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. 
no CyberLife spokesperson was available for comment, and the speculation looks set to continue. Android astro astronauts to explore Io. NASA sends Android crew into space. Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scan. Ooh. NASA announced the launch of a five Android crew to explore Io, one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, proving that androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted with the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from, from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned, and that the androids would work on Io for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. Here, androids go on a suicide mission. Feel good about this. Also locked, okay. Gamer Glow TV, hello, hello. How are you? Welcome in. Let me pause this here. We'll pop over here. Hello, hello, hello. It goes wonderfully. How was your stream? I know it'll catch up in a moment. There we go. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 online. Oh, very, very nice. Thank you, thank you. Um, folks, you enjoy Final Fantasy MMOs uh, and wonderful streamers. Gamer Glow TV right there. That Ace of Hearts that was just on the screen. You know the drill. There's a heart up at the top of your chat to click. Give them a follow real quick. Um, yeah, so so we've got a little festive thing for the weekend here. Um, tonight we're playing Detroit Become Humans, so I've got the VTuber out and having some fun with that. Tomorrow we are going to be in my kitchen and putting together a bicycle that's been in a box in my house for three months, actually. It arrived near my birthday back in September. Um, so just shy of a full three months. It's been in a box just sitting in my house waiting, um, but we're going to put it together and then we're going to be baking. So we're going to be baking some sugar cookies, uh, peanut butter blossoms, which are like a peanut butter cookie with a uh, Hershey's kiss in the middle and gingerbread cookies. And then we're also going to bake cupcakes and make our own frosting. So um, I have not made any of these things before. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. <laughs> I've never put a bike together from scratch or baked any of these things. So I'm sure it's going to be perfectly great <laughs> and nothing is going to go wrong. <laughs> um, but welcome in Raiders. Uh, I'm Violacious. Most people just call me by and uh, I am a variety streamer. To, like I said, we're, we're doing some different stuff this week. We're also going to be playing a game called, uh, oh my gosh, the words, um, watch over Christmas which Santa gets captured and a young boy who believes has to save him in a King's Quest style point and click puzzle game with humor. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we'll be doing that on the 26th, but we're starting at midnight Pacific. So we will be a very late night stream, um, even later than normal, uh, since we'll be coming home from the Christmas holiday to hop onto stream. So that's kind of this week. But normally we do puzzles like mist like games, platformers, all sorts of different games, and we paint miniatures. So we're glad to have you with you with us. Um, Gamer Glow TV, if you've got a raid and run, please, please feel free. Take care of yourself. Do all that post stream stuff. And thank you for trusting us with your community and coming over here on this night. Um, let me also do a quick, if I can find my mouse, there it is. 
for anybody that came over that might not be familiar with Detroit Become Human, um, it is a beautiful game and story about androids who are deviants and essentially developing some forms of sentience and emotions. Uh, but along with that is a society that is not in favor of that. And so there are a lot of other human-like themes, such as drugs, violence, etc. Um, so we've got that uh, trigger warning there with the link that you can click on to find out about what triggers are present in the game and find out if this is co content that you are comfortable with um, as we move forward into the game. And right now we are a little ways in. We are Marcus, who was destroyed and managed to resurrect himself with parts of other androids and is now on his way to what might be a safe house of a sort. We're inside of an old ship that seems to be grounded, and we are looking around with a flashlight trying to find our way into what is called Jericho, which was the name of the ship. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at. Thank you again for coming over. Um, so glad to have you here with us, and we're going to pop back into the game. So here we go. We've been getting these clues, but we no longer have clues. We're now just walking. And this path is blocked. So we are heading that way. Oh. Jump scares are just kind of par for the course. Uh, it's not a horror, but um, there are definitely horrors included. What's she doing? Both of these paths are completely blocked off, so she went this way. Well, that path might not be open for much longer. I'm assuming she went left, but we have to check the door anyway. Lots of locked doors. Marcus, maybe we should be closing the doors behind us. Oh, you did. Good. That shriek. Nauseam! How are you doing? Well, there is no going back. Oh my gosh. Oh, ouch. Go ahead and stand up there, Marcus. I am doing wonderfully. You're back in the Midwest. I hope the rest of your visit up this way went well. Wasn't it that model that... Fall off the catwalk. No option. That was always going to happen. <laughs> we could have gone straight to the... We didn't have to have the bridge collapse. We could have climbed straight up the crane. Okay, that makes sense. What else did we have as options? Read on the run. Read Android Astronauts. There was something else to read. Oh. Public opinion is still skeptical. We're 89% completed, or that was 89% of this. Nope. 
located the Jericho, went inside the boat, and met the people of Jericho. This is my first playthrough, yeah. This is only uh, the second night. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. Eighty-nine percent of that level, not definitely not eighty-nine in the game. Okay. Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Nothing's a hundred percent guaranteed. And you are, sir? Pedro Abdar. Born January 5th, 2005. Unemployed. Criminal record. Illegal gambling and fraud. Well, no surprises there. You have to lurk? Well, thanks for popping in and thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. <laughs> One of those signs that you do not want to see when you're about to order food. Just write food hygiene license. License expired. Wait, isn't it 2038? So license expired in 2031 and is was refused two months later so they hadn't cleaned up their act so seven years ago they were like no this place is not sanitary this food should not be consumed they are not allowed to serve food and they're like we've got sa chicken sandwiches mm -mm. you know it's the good stuff Back here, we've got Gary Kays. Born December 3rd, 1988. Business owner, criminal record of resisting arrest and breach of hygiene regulations. Oh, yes. Running an illegal operation of a restaurant. And Hank. Lieutenant Anderson. No criminal record. But about to consume something that may give him food poisoning. Is there something else? Oh no. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. You're under arrest for illegal gambling. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? No. Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Let's just go for reconcile. relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, you sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Here you go. The hamburger. Wait, K Cal? 1680K? I could see it being 1,680 calories. Lipids, 36 gram. Carbohydrates, 53 grams. Water, 53%. Salt, 2.2 grams. And can we scan the soda as well? Yeah, let's see what... Extra large soda. 710 calories. Sugar, 184 grams. Carbonated pineapple passion. Ah. Oh. Gary, I'm starving. 
Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? <laughs> it kind of does. Gambling cholesterol company or enjoy your meal. <laughs> you're like, Hank, your health, man. What are you doing to yourself? You're just drinking and eating yourself into an early grave. Or I saw that illegal gambling you did. <laughs> I don't think that like calling him out right now is a good idea. Company? I have no idea what that's going to mean, but that's what I'm going to go with. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Highway? This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. All right, about me. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do he you does care, yeah. So much? He doesn't. I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. <laughs> Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. You ever dealt with deviants before? Wow, back to the Deviant's opening back. scene. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Guess you've done your homework. The truth. I snooped around your desk and gathered a bunch of information about you. Mainly headlines. Or lie. In which case, Connor might say, no, I don't know anything about you. Or I know everything about you. I'm going to lie. I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. Ooh. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. That didn't go well for either of them. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor. Yeah, he will. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Right, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. 
Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Feathers. Rock pigeon. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by nah, just short circuited. Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. You'll be able to get a cyber life upgrade soon. That note was so defensive, yeah. Anybody home? There you go, cop knock it. Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. With the lost symbols on the on the walls. Go for this one, huh? Whoa! What the fuck is this? Ah, Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. How did he manage to leave without the pigeons? Military jacket, second hand, initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. There you go, let him out. <sighs> I need some fresh air. Urban farms of Detroit. Fruits. Vegetables in town? Fields in the heart of the city, 265 acre. Okay. Hydrate's a good idea, thank you for that. Much appreciated. What am I looking at here? Poster corner. 100% recycled paper recently moved. Symbol again. Hexagon Labyrinth. It's written in gibberish. Labyrinths and mazes drawn on every page. Found something? I no. No. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh. And the cause of the loud noise. You don't think the pigeons are the cause? I mean, they wouldn't be storing food in here, right? Suspect doesn't eat. Well, suspect's supposed to be an android, right? You wouldn't have expected any other anything else. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! What did you just get yourself into, Hank? Suspect cares for wild animals. Or just wants to cover tracks with bird mess? Real books. Thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. 
Uh, let's take some. Smell the paper. Oh. See the paper. LED bio component 9301. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Yeah. He didn't eat it. He smelled it. He thought about it, but he stopped himself. Birdseed. I can't believe it. RA9. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. <clears throat> Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Well. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Mm hmm. Obsessive compulsive writing. Well, guessing it recently tipped over. Recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. No surprises there. Opened marker pen. Still wet, used recently. Color midnight mood, black. Suspect was here recently. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay. Pardon me, Hank. I need to go to the other room. Bird cage. Why a bird cage? Oh, fingerprints. Fingerprint marks, recent traces of avian fecal matter, no fingerprints, of course. Booby cooking. Oh, thank God it started raining and it's breaking the humidity. That is wonderful. Skid mark, recent. Trail width, 19.6 inches. Traces of galvanized skeet steel. Metal hook. Recently broken, 100% stainless steel. Okay. So this used to be hanging from the ceiling. Suspect ran towards entrance. Oh, the scratch came from him striking it on his way by. Or wait. No, that was the hand. Waved it out of the way. It fell. There was another stool. Heard us enter. Suspect is still here. All right. Connor on duty.
Hey, hey, you want to get in here? God damn. Oh. I just saw Amy's note. She'd suggest pausing here for an ad break. <laughs> I look down and I see we've got 20 seconds till they start. So I guess that's what we're going to do. Uh, this will be our last ad break of the night. So stick around with us. There will be a three minute ad break coming up in about 10 ish seconds. Um, and then uh, we'll be back for apprehending, well, maybe apprehending uh, this deviant. So, yeah. I can't push the run button. We are already past that for the snooze and everything. About to head into a scene that's awkward to pause on. Okay, that is really good to know. So we've got a good spot to stop. Well, pause, not stop. Um, and we will come back in to what I'm guessing is going to be a pretty intense scene again. Um, hopefully not as emotionally intense and just action intense. That's that's what I'm crossing my fingers for anyways. And we sh we shall see. Uh, Twitch, you told me they're starting. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> there we go. All right, we'll see you in three minutes. And we're back. I didn't want to stop right at the end of the song. I was like, nope, we're going to let that one finish. 
Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to anyone who is enduring the ads, uh, hanging out, being ad warriors for us as we took a quick break, uh, ran down the hall. What you missed was uh, the song, What Do Bad Girls Get? Um, it's on an album called Midwinter Moon by Julianne Marks and Craig Olson. And they used to have a band as well. Um, Craig Olson actually now lives in Bali. Uh, he married somebody over there. Haven't seen him in probably over 20 years. Um, so yeah, but, uh, they used to do house concerts and stuff and, uh, with their other band, um, well, it's kind of still just them, but it was called Cedar Moon. Um, so yeah, that was their, their non, non-Christian winter holiday album. So I kind of like that because it doesn't have as much religious uh, notes to it, even though it still has the typical like Christmassy vibes and Christmas songs on it, too. OK, we are jumping into this. The pigeons have startled Hank. We know that the deviant is upstairs. And here we go. Fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it. Oh, it came down. How do I pick? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I don't. Oh. Well, that's gonna make things challenging. Um, you're not scanning. What are you doing? Art. What are you deciding? Where to go? You went through that blue door right there. Oh shit! Shit! Fuck! We had it. That's two. You've let get away now, Connor. Sorry. Doesn't matter. We know what it looks like. It won't get far. Come on, let's get out of here. Seen enough vegetables for one day. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't programmed to fail. Oh, well, you fucked up, Connor. Damn. Welcome to the club. Yeah. How is Hank keeping up with us? Rupert got away. So there was a way we could have caught him. Lost sight of Rupert. Yeah, I guess so. So there were other points that we could have caught him too. Back to Marcus and the people of Jericho. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Trail Android Jericho Refuge. Hello, Shell Smiley. We love this game, but you're making a D&D &D character. Nice. I can't wait to hear about the character. Um, the music was very epic. Yeah, that was good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just in time for action. Yes, you're waiting on couscous to absorb water. Then it's time for chickpea curry with roasted carrots and kumara. Mmm. Very tasty. First time you've made it by yourself. Sounds tasty. Love that. All right. I'm going to go with trail because obviously there was a trail to get here. 
And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I mean, yes, one of you did trust me enough to give me the key, but I guess if we're in that space, theoretically, we were deviants. But they could have dumped anyone there. They could have just been defective. It's like, oh, this one got hit by a truck. Throw it in. Like, Kamara is sweet potato. Sweet potatoes. The orange ones. Oh, okay. He told me I could be free. Hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. We're alive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Huh? Lost, somber, lucid, or direct. So we're looking at moods, not words. Marcus. Marcus before when he was with Carl was lucid, was patient, was somber. But Marcus, since he's been on his own, has been direct. He's been angry. He's definitely been lost, but I don't feel that he's lost right now. So direct is what I'm going to go with. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? <laughs> That's not how I see freedom. Why do you keep shining flashlights in people's <laughs> eyes? <laughs> Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Are some of these the ones that I've been reading about too? Settle in, find Lucy, and explore Jericho. They died right there. Hmm. Everyone's just standing around. Well, now that is an interesting display. Smashed up parts of dead androids with a plant growing in the darkness. Another one in the corner. More parts of androids just left on the ground. Another one of the children. They 
threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. Mm. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Basically, we can't keep ourselves alive for long. Cyber life, what's in here? Great, already emptied. Arms and legs. Cyber life warehouse and docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Calculating route. That was what I was supposed to explore here, huh? They're just standing. Some of them just standing here doing nothing. Like, you're free to think, but without orders, you don't do anything. Now, you, on the other hand, seem to be truly alive. Why are we starting a fire? I know I pushed the button, but the, like, I'm doing it, but don't know why. Oh, to br turn on light, basically. Old. But they didn't feel. That one's not a fire barrel. Like, I probably could have let my eyes adjust to the dark, but... The other androids gathering around the... Around the fire seems significant. Any fires over here, are there? No, these are all closed. Okay. Before I go talk to Lucy... What's your story, North? been here four weeks three days 11 hours when I escaped there was nowhere else to go Jericho seemed as good a place as any you wounded a lot of these guys in pretty bad shape oh. everybody else That's yes how the humans treat those who disobey they despise us We'll never accept what we are. What was your function before coming here? I'm assuming she was... What do you care? ...of Eden. That wasn't the question I thought he was going to ask when I asked about her. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Totally fair. Lucy 
Lucy's over here humming away. Also with a fire. Connected Are to the you ship. Lucy? Oh, wow. Sit down. Cracks in her skin like a broken doll. Your transition goals are half just being that guy again, but also being the prettiest girl in the world. And that is perfectly fine. Show me. Her eyes are very black, yeah. I'll stop the bleeding. All the little LEDs on the ground. Drink this. You grew up in an extremely superstitious family. Oh. I know people that just have a really, really hard time with black eyes. Black eyed children were a special kind of demon. Yeah. Go ahead. Drink up. Have some blue blood. memories and you lost it all you've seen hell and now hell lives in you your heart is troubled a part of shadow and a part of light which will prevail your choices will shape our destiny Looks like moving keloids. Propose a plan to Simon. Oh. So I need to talk to Simon when... All I know is that my choices will drive what happens. North won't give me information now and... Alright, Simon. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life warehouses in the Detroit Harbor. They have every. You post his bread in my Discord. You're very, very familiar with Keloids. Just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe, but it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Listen to me, I'm the specialist of, of special friends. For those in the chat who don't know, keloids are blisters caused by burns. Oh, okay. If you touch an oven even half a second while baking, you get to have one. Yes. I didn't know that's what they were called, but uh, yeah. Marcus Marcus hatched a plan. That was a very quick plan. Oh, there was one other person we could have talked to, it looks like, that I missed, but that's okay. That was a pretty complete little area. 
Public opinion still skeptical. Jericho is neutral. North is neutral. Josh is neutral. Simon is neutral. Okay, well, at least North is no longer resentful. And maybe or might forgive us for asking her about her past. Um, fun fact, the reason Godzilla is covered in little bubbles is because of keloids. That because they're also a symptom of radiation burns. Oh, I did not know that. I had uh, third degree burns on the upper half of my left arm when I was a teenager. I was drunk at a party and fell into a, a bonfire and uh, it hurt. <laughs> um, we'll get some help here. I had to wrap it up for a few months. Chickpea picks in the Discord? Oh my god, you guys are gonna put food picks in the Discord? Way to figure out how way to get me to raid out. Um This is the place. I'm actually thinking we just had a bunch of big scenes. We are at eleven twenty. And I think that the best course of action will actually be to go to the main menu and raid out and come back to this next Friday and being fresh with this so um we'll just remember that there are trigger warnings coming for this scene in particular and uh it's also a longer scene so it's a good idea perfect okay so we'll start here next time i'm going to push the button right now yes confirm that way there's no questioning it we'll let chloe give us some awkward looks here real quick while i look for somebody else who might be playing, doing something on the interwebs? Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Oh my gosh. What is this? <laughs> yes, please. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Ooh. The wording of the questions, it's okay. The wording of the question is important. Would I consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? And the way I interpret relationship could be friendship, could be romantic, anything like that. But it is not a physical act. It is an emotional connection. And... Honestly, with the humanity that I'm seeing in these androids, I could absolutely see that happening. So, yes. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Oh, 100% yes. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Nauseam, exactly. An AI girlfriend, somebody that is programmed to send specific responses or to be controlled and do what you want them to do. No, somebody that is sentient and in control of their own action and happens to be mechanical, I would see as no different than somebody who has a hip replacement. Like it, it's very different in that mind. Oh, it's fun seeing what the national statistics are. Someone designed to like you. Yes, thank you. It's weird. Yeah, exactly. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? A book, a cell phone, pen and paper, a console, an instrument. I have to live on the deserted island. What good are a console or a cell phone going to do for me? We need to have a philosophical discussion after this. Maybe we'll watch this and then do the philosophical discussion on the next Friday stream. Because I do have to get up early enough to be ready for tomorrow. And I still have to uh, take everything into the kitchen and get all set for that. Um, you're the most autistic person who ever lived. WRT pens. I... Oh, with regard to pens. Ah, gotcha. Not being able. It's just being honest. That, hey, you know, we each have our things. Um... I'm actually leaning towards pen and paper because a book, you read it once, you've read it. 
You can keep reading it over and over again, but after that, it's just Firestarter. A cell phone. Who are you going to call? You have to live there, so it's not a you're deserted and trying to get off of there. The prompt is you have to live on the deserted island. A console. I'm like, I'm picturing that as a gaming console, but I don't see any idea where that helps. An instrument is tempting, but I don't play. So it would be pretty. And maybe, maybe after having it is the only thing there I would learn. But pen and paper can document what I've been through, my experiences, leave them behind for somebody else who might come after. Make up stories, make up new stories that I can then forget and read later. <laughs> can also start fires, can also write and send them out into the water and hope that somebody gets them if I can ever get off this island. If the paper is infinite, as is the ink, yeah. I feel like this is going to give me the most time. These are all entertainment devices. And this is going to give me the greatest amount of entertainment, joy, and opportunity. I have not beat Kern yet. I still need to finish it. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Oh god, yes. <laughs> it's my job. It is surrounding me. What technology do you most anticipate? She looks so much like your ex. What and what technology do I most anticipate? Androids, flying cars, space and tourism, or brain connected devices? Ooh. These are all very, very close to being regular in our lives. I couldn't care less about space tourism. I, I think that that's a joke for the rich, and I. I I won't go further into it, but I, I don't care about it. Um, androids, just like actual AI, not our generative response, but actual AI. I think that has the biggest potential to overhaul human existence. She's the least Elon answer. So the funny thing, he's involved in space tourism. And I will use involved as he spends money on it and puts his name on it. And he also bought a brain-connected devices company that had a chimpanzee play a game of Pong by controlling the controller with its mind. So th that's why I'm like, these two are real. You have to sleep, Lydia. That's a wonderful idea. Get some good, good rest. Yeah, you remember how... The yeah, it it's terrible. And flying cars, Android's what I most anticipate on this one. Because flying cars are just planes with people who don't know how to pilot them. Do you believe in God? No. Would you let an android take care of your children? Interesting. Android would be a better parent than you. In a lot of cases, yes. But this goes back to the AI versus Android question from earlier with the relationship is if I'm looking at them and seeing a sentient being, which when I think about taking care of children, and in this scenario, my own children, I have to think of somebody that's actually going to care for the children, not not just make sure that they're fed or that they don't do something that's going to harm them, but somebody that actually cares, somebody that's got heart. That's an important component. The flip side of that is that 
if we're talking about something like an android taking care of the children, your voice is silent. <sighs> I'm going to go with yes. I just feel like this is one that's getting into that gray area because of that servitude side of it. They could be patient. They could put up with the kid's crap that, that pushes buttons of, of humans. And when heart comes into it, they're going to be better at being a caregiver, but they're also going to have the flip side of getting frustrated about having to be a caregiver. Alivers, what's a nuclear physicist's favorite music heavy metal? Uh, very nice. Appreciate that. Hello, hello. Welcome in. There's a lot of vodka in your brain dealing with being closeted around your dad. No worries, nauseam. It's okay. We totally get it. Next time you come up this way, though, let's let's get together. There's a bunch of people like us up here and uh, can take a breather. Yeah, absolutely. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Is 24 an option? Laughs Britishly. <laughs> it was so nice that people were just cool up there. Yeah. Yeah. Most places you go, that's what you'll find. And most of the time, it's just in the cities. Are you a tree? No? With a question mark? <laughs> but I know it's definitely more than four hours a day. I, I, I think I spent four hours on devices before I went to bed today. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Okay, this is actually a very interesting one. And so my brother is a surgeon's technician and implant coordinator for a large hospital. My stepmother was a radiation technologist, so she did uh, MRIs, things like that. I've got friends that are also in medical, but using those two specifically as references. We've spent a lot of time talking about surgical procedures and time spent in operating rooms, saving lives, doing like hip replacements. I mentioned that earlier, um, things like that. Doctors mess up. Doctors mess up a lot. Humans make mistakes. You know, to err is to be human. And they use the term machine here. So I want to take the Android component out of this and make it machine. And when I look at a machine and I look at automation in a machine, there is um, precision color, depth, steadiness of the hand. And what's more is we already use this in some of our most sensitive surgeries today, where the doctors no longer use their hand on the patient, but actually hold a controller just like I am playing this game. We have machines that are programmed to stitch up, put the sutures into a person after surgery for more rapid and precise closures. So this is already happening. And knowing what I know, I use the same argument with electric cars. They don't have to be perfect. They just have to be better drivers than us. They don't have to be perfect as surgery. They just have to be better than we are. Look up Theric 25. Uh, but yeah, you're out literally in the middle of nowhere outside a couple of friends. I need to show you the pic you took of from Queen Anne. And you went on a walk with a friend that was out there. Um, for that one, there's a channel called Picture It Didn't Happen. Uh, throw any any type of pictures in there that you've got. Selfies, trips that you took, any of that kind of stuff are always welcome in there. We have a couple other specific ones like food and pets and stuff. But if you ever just want to post pics, throw them in there. Um, yeah, so 
I, I've heard stories of incorrect organs being removed and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going back to this one. Yes, I absolutely agree to be operated on by a machine. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? I know that we have people that believe that they have already using the generative text. And we have talked about this before. I've tried to have conversations with chatbots uh, recently and previously. You have to jump again. No worries, Nauseam. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Thanks so much for popping in. I can't wait to see those pictures. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful night. I think this is really interesting because quantum computing is getting us so close to the point. Derek 25's doctor is messing up so badly that he killed a number of cancer patients from radiation poisoning. Okay, yeah. Oh, um, for in bed bot. Is that wrong? There's a command for it to make it so that it, uh, it'll leave you alone. <laughs> Other than us timing it off, out. Um, you didn't come out to your dad, but you did come out to your friend you took that walk with. Oh, that's wonderful. It's like an inch away from the shower. <laughs> Look, you said you're in the Midwest, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, yes, please, please go lurk. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Um, hi, average British person here with enough tea for all Boston's harbors <laughs> with some left over to actually drink along with mad science facts. Uh, absolutely love that, Oliver's. And also, uh, thank you for the follow new friend. Appreciate that. Um, apparently, you start you need to start streaming with a loaded weapon. No, I hope not. But uh, there are commands to make the bots uh, back off because embed bot, but bot, although butts bot isn't here. Um, some of those can be obnoxious sometimes. And we do time it out when we're usually when we're on serious topics. But it's always interesting when it grabs onto one person for a night. It's supposed to be a random draw. I have to answer this last question of do I think one day machines could develop consciousness and if I am looking at one day, I have to say yes. Uh, before you leave, where's the best butt spot reply? Your RuneScape butt bot ever did. Oh my God. <laughs> Bring it on, bot. Yeah. Amy, I know you're used to it because there's so many of us now that have embed bot and it's in like the tight knit group because it keeps slowly spreading. I'd have to ask Alka what the stats are on how many there are. All right. Um, here's a science fact you have already locked and loaded. Just copy and paste. Cobalt 60 is one of the most highly radioactive metals to exist. Emitting 240... I don't know what GY is. I want to say like Geigers, but that I don't know if that's actually a measurement uh, per hour. At this rate, it can deliver a deadly whole body dose in just two minutes. Cobalt 60 is so radioactive that it's containment tubes that are only slightly longer than your palm have no warning signs on them. It just says drop and run underneath a radioactive hazard symbol. It'll never be on yours. That's a very good point, Amy. Yes. You can't get Embedbot to join you? Oh. Yeah, don't fuck with Cobalt. No, no, no. All right. 
in the game. Yes, one day. I know it's not connected. I will figure out why it's not connected because I don't understand why that is. Can I connect it now and then go through these results again? You can go back into the survey? Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's now over here. This is the extra section. As you Got it. You'll unlock all kinds of content that you can find here. Okay. So yes, next week, uh, we will, I'll make sure that it's logged in and we will work our way to finding out how we stacked up against the world. Because now I'm really curious. <laughs> okay, I always think that I'm a degen, but the, the CEO of Twitch is streaming right now <laughs> in VR chat, apparently. <laughs> like, does he know? Because... I believe where he's at, it's one in the morning. <laughs> oh, I have my audio coming through to you guys right now. It shouldn't be like that. So I'm going to mute on my side here while we find somewhere to go. I hope you're okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. Like, see, like things like that. I know that it's just a timed response, but it's like tone and everything. And obviously they recorded a human voice to make that. Just makes things hit a little different, you know? Got a Final Fantasy VII remake. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever rated over to this person or not. I might have. But I really enjoy the Final Fantasy VII Remake, so I think... Taking one last a very, very quick look. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to go somewhere else. Because... Darren asked earlier about other Final Fantasies I have played, and one of the ones I have played... Final Fantasy IV is definitely up there among the favorites. Um, thank you all so much for being here and hanging out tonight. Let me hit this button real quick. And let me get my own raid message copied there. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight. Thank you, Annie and Miss Sarah Excalibur, for the resubs. Um... Thank you to our raiders, uh, Samsara Dusty, our new friend. Uh, where did it go? There we are. Futon Crusaders, who brought comfy chairs, and Gamer Glow TV. Thank you all for bringing your friends over and trusting your communities here. Samsara, congrats on keeping your head today. You were the only one who attempted it. And thank you to everyone who is gathering up those Christmas cards that they are in the Discord. Uh, it should have posted a link to the Discord and socials. It did. So uh, you can join us on all of those. We will be back in about 12 hours. Um, so I'm going to go get my kitchen ready, get some sleep, and we'll be back to build a bike and bake a bunch of holiday goodies. So really, really hope you can join us tomorrow for all of that. Um, the recipes are also in the Discord on the Food and Recipes channel, so you can actually click in there if you want to cook along. And uh, yeah, so that's the exciting stuff. And then again, um, the 26th in the middle of the night, just coming out of Christmas, we'll be doing a special stream with the uh, Twitch Women's Unity Guild and a raid train that's going starting tomorrow and running through uh, January. So we'll hope to see you then. Until then, we'll see you on your channels on all the ones we hang out again in together and back here again soon. Until then, bye!